So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp notification for WooCommerce order. Now suppose guys, you have created some kind of e-commerce store using WooCommerce and you want that whenever a new order is received on your WooCommerce store, you want to send a WhatsApp notification to your customer regarding the same order. So in this video, I will tell you how you can automate this process. So we will be using Interact to send the WhatsApp message to a customer. So Interact is an API service of WhatsApp using which you can directly send WhatsApp messages to your customer. And in this video, we are going to set up an automation in which whenever a new order will be received on our WooCommerce store, automatically an order confirmation message will be sent to the same customer who has placed the order using Interact. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. So I want to name my workflow as WooCommerce to interact. And then just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to connect our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect so that every time a new order is received on our WooCommerce store, the details of that order should be received inside of our Pavli Connect workflow as well. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those details to Interact and we will be sending a WhatsApp message as the order confirmation to the customer who has placed the order. So let's see how it is done. Now here in Trigger window, in Choose App, search for WooCommerce. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new order created. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect. And how it is done? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here. And here we will go to our WordPress site. So on my WordPress site, I have installed my WooCommerce plugin. So this is my plugin. Just go to the WooCommerce settings option. After coming to the settings page, click on advanced. And then after reaching to the advanced page, click on this webhooks option. Now here you can see that a list of all the webhook URLs which we have added in our WooCommerce store can be seen over here. Click on add webhook. And then let's give this webhook URL a name. For example, I would like to name this webhook as Pabli. Let's change the status from disabled to active and in top topic from the drop down, we have to select the topic as order created. Then it is asking us delivery URL and here in delivery URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. Then it is asking us for the secret and API version. So you can just ignore these fields, keep it on default and click on save webhook. And when we click on save webhook, we will see this webhook URL will be added in our WooCommerce store. And our WooCommerce store is now connected with Pavli Connect. And here in Pavli Connect, you can see that we have received this webhook ID in response. This means this connection is perfectly done. Now what we have to do, we have to place a test order, a dummy order on our WooCommerce store so that the details of that order can be received inside our Pavli Connect workflow as well. So just click on this recapture webhook response button over here in the trigger window. And now it has changed to waiting for webhook response. Now we will go to our WooCommerce store and we are going to place an order. For example, I have this product named as microphone. Let's place an order for this product. Microphone over here. Let's click on add to cart. Let's proceed to checkout. And here on the checkout page, let's enter the details of a dummy customer. So here we have the name of the customer, the dummy customer, the company name, country, then here you can see we have also have entered the address, we have the city, state, pin code and the mobile number. So here let's change the mobile number of the customer. So whatever mobile number the customer is going to enter while placing the order on the same WhatsApp number, we are going to send the order confirmation message on WhatsApp. And after doing this, just click on this place order button. And it is done. Now you can see that just now we have received a new order on our WooCommerce store. 
And because we have connected our WooCommerce store with Pavli Connect, we will see the details of the same order is also received inside Pavli Connect as well. So here in Pavli Connect workflow, we will see within few seconds, we will get the same order details, the same response. And yes, guys, here you can see that just now we have received the response of the same order. So here, when we will scroll down to this response, you can see the same details. We have the same total amount of the order. Here you can see that was 15,000 rupees. Then after that, you will see scroll down and see other details of the order as well. So here you can see the name of the customer who has placed the order. We have the address of the customer as well. Then we will scroll down further and we will see some other details like email address, mobile number and the details of the product which customer has ordered. So let's scroll down. And here it is. Here you can see the name of the product which the customer has ordered. That is the microphone. We will scroll down further and you will see the details of the customer like the email address of the customer and the mobile number of the customer as well. So in this way, you can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully received the details of a new order from our WooCommerce store inside Public Connect. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, we have to send the same details of a new order to Interact so that using Interact, we can send a WhatsApp message to the customer as the order confirmation. Now guys, to send the WhatsApp message, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in Choose App, search for Interact. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send WhatsApp template message. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here in this step, we have to connect our interact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our interact account. Now you must be thinking how you will get this secret key. So just log into your interact account from the left sidebar Go to settings and click on this settings option. Then after coming to the settings page, click on this developer setting and here you can see the secret key of your interact account. Just copy it from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here and click on save. And when we click on save, we will see our interact account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the country code, phone number and full phone number. Now here guys, in these three columns, we have to basically enter the mobile number of the customer to whom we want to send the WhatsApp message. So if you have a different response for country code and 10 digits mobile number of the customer, you can use these two fields. You have to map the country code, enter the country code over here, and you have to enter the mobile number, the phone number of the customer over here. But just in case, if you have a full phone number of the country code with the plus sign, the country code and the 10 digits mobile number, Instead of these two fields, you can just have to map the or enter the mobile number of the customer in this particular field. Like in response from WooCommerce, here you will see that we have the full phone number of the customer. We have the plus sign, the country code and 10 digits mobile number. So we are going to map this same mobile number over here in this full phone number section. But here guys, you just have to ensure that you always get the details over the mobile number from the customer with the plus sign and the country code as well. So to map this data, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from WooCommerce. And out of all of these responses, select the response of phone number over here. So just search for it. And here it is, billing phone number. Just select this response and it will be mapped over here. So this is the full phone number with plus sign, country code and the 10 digits mobile number. After mapping the phone number, the next thing it asks us is the template code name. Now here guys, as we all know, to send the WhatsApp message to our customers using Interact, first we have to create a template message in Interact. Then we have to get that template approved. And then after approval, we can use that template message to send messages to a customer. Now here guys, we have to enter the code name of the template, which we are going to use in this automation workflow. So let's check what is the template which I have created in Interact. Let's go to Interact. Go to template section and here guys, here is the template which I have created. So this is the kind of message which I want to send to my customer for every order I receive on my WooCommerce store. And here in this message, you will see I have added a header text which is your order is placed. And then this message says hello. And here in this message, you will notice I have added some numbers in double curly braces. Now here you must be thinking what are these numbers? 
So these numbers are basically some dynamic text, some variables. Now after hello, I wanted to mention the name of the customer to whom I'm sending the WhatsApp message. But the name of the customer will be keep on changing for every new message I send. This means the name of the customer is a dynamic text. It's a variable. And to add these kind of variables in our template message, which we will be sending on WhatsApp, we add these numbers in double curly braces. And you can basically replace these numbers with text of your choice inside your public unique workflow. How it is done? We will see in a couple of minutes. But first guys, after opening your template, after creating your template and opening it here in the URL section, here you can see after template slash and before slash view, you can see the template code. Just copy this code name from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. So this is the code name of your template using which you want to set up this automation and send WhatsApp message to your customer. So in this way, you can get the code name. Then it is asking us language code. So here I have created this template in English. So that's why we are going to enter the language code of English that is EN. Then it is asking us header values. Now using this template message guys, what you can do, you can actually add some kind of image, video or document as well with the WhatsApp message which you are sending. Right now in this video, I have not created any kind of a template with some header images, video or document. But if you create some kind of template like this using image video or document, you can actually mention the link of the image video or document, the header file which you want to send to your users with the WhatsApp message. So here you just have to mention the link, the URL of that file. Right now we are in this template, we are not actually using the headers. So we can just ignore it for now. And then it comes the body variable values. Now here we have created these variables. And as I told you, we can actually configure these variables, the text which we want to put in place of these variables, we can enter it over here in the workflow. So here guys, we have to actually enter the variables or the text which we want to place in place of these variables. Like after hello in this place of this variable one, I wanted to mention the name of the customer. So I'll just click here and we are going to map the response of the name of the customer. So from the drop down, let's search for the name of the customer. This is it. And this is the first name. After this, we want to mention the, the name of our store, our brand name over here in place of variable two. So what you can do, you just have to add a comma. And after that, you can mention the text which you want to insert in place of variable two. So after the comma, let's take an example of XYZ store. So this is my name. Then in place of variable three, I wanted to mention the name of the product which customer has ordered. So here from WooCommerce responses, let's search for the response of the product name. Here it is, select it and map it. Let's add another comma. And in variable four, we wanted to mention the total amount of the order. So here guys, what we are going to do from the drop down, map the total amount as well. In this way, if you want, you can basically create any amount of variables in your template message and you can actually enter the text which you want to send in place of this variable in your public connect workflow over here in this body variable value field. Now, after entering the details of your variables, the next thing it asks us is position of CTA button, the call to action button and the value of variable in dynamic URL over here. So in the same template message, if you want, you can add some kind of buttons, some kind of call to action buttons like calls, or you can redirect them to your website, or you can add some links over there. By clicking on those buttons on the WhatsApp message, the user will be redirected to that particular URL, which you have entered. So what kind of URL you have entered? If it is a static URL, you can enter the URL over here. But if it is a dynamic URL, it is also going to keep on changing for every new message. Then you can enter that dynamic URL over here in this field. And here you can actually change the position of the button as well. Like you, here you have an option to send two buttons. So zero is the position of the first button and one is the position of second button. Right now in this template, we haven't created any kind of buttons. So we can just ignore these fields for now. And after that, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have entered, the variable value which we have entered over here with the same values and using the same template which we have selected over here, a WhatsApp message has been sent to the customer who has placed an order on our WooCommerce store. So let's check it. We will go to WhatsApp account. And yes, guys, here you can see that a new message has been sent to the same customer, which says we have the header text, your order is placed. Same text which we have added in the header section. Then this message says, hello dummy, means the name of the same customer whose details we have entered while placing the order. 
Thank you for shopping with XYZ store, the same store name which we have added in Pabli Connect in place of variable 2. We have received your order for microphone of rupees 15,000. We have the same product name which for which we have received the order from the customer and the same total amount for which we have received the order. If you have any questions, feel free to message us here anytime. So this is the same template message which we have created in Interact with the same values of a new order which we have added or mapped over here in our public clinic workflow. So this means the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new order will be received on our WooCommerce store, automatically a WhatsApp message with the order confirmation details will be sent to the same customer who has placed the order. Now guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. We will get back to our WooCommerce store and we are going to place a new order this time. So let's change the product. For example, I have this product. This is white round net t-shirt. Let's add this product to cart. Then scroll down, click on proceed to checkout. And then let's enter the details of a customer. For example, let's change the name as test customer this time. Test is the first name of the customer. Then let's keep the address as same and let's keep the other details as same. Click on place order. So here guys, you will notice we haven't changed the mobile number of the customer as well so that we can get their message on the same account and check it right now. So the order is placed. Just now on our WooCommerce store, we have received a new order and we will see within a second as the order is received, automatically a WhatsApp message with the order confirmation details will be sent to the customer on their WhatsApp number. And yes guys, here you can see that just now we have received a message which says your order is placed Hello test means the name of the same customer whose details we have entered while placing this order. Then this message says, thank you for shopping with us, XYZ store. So here we have the same store name. We have received your order for white round neck t-shirt, the same product name which we have ordered over here. And after that, here you can see the same amount for which we have placed the order. Now this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working absolutely fine. So guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.